Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. On today's episode, we're hitting up Norwalk again. Today's good Tuesday. Uh, we got a couple cars we're going to check out, mainly just Toyota's and Lexus. You guys already know what we're looking for mainly. So let's go ahead and get today started. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and um, may your day be better. All right, let's cross the street real quick. And we made it. Money making Tuesday, baby. Let's get it. We're going to be looking at a Prius, actually two Priuses today. Hopefully we get a good deal on it. But besides that, maybe a few more, one more Lexus. But let's go inside, get our bitter badge and look at the cars. All right, so mainly today we're looking at Toyotas and Lexus. So we're going to go ahead and out to the lot right now. We just got here. I'm about to go check out the car. I brought the OBD2 scanner. So we're going to hook and see if it runs good. But uh, in the meantime, hold up, I'll be right back. So let me look at my phone real quick on my notes. And I'll show you guys the car that we're looking at. So here's the first car I think we're taking a look at today. It's going to be a 15 Prius. This is a repossession. Um, body is in decent condition. I think I saw something. Yeah, this is like the rear bumper and uh the tail light so actually i've seen this car before it was here like two weeks ago but it didn't sell and it went away and then it came back so i'm assuming they took it they took it to another auction i'm assuming they took this car to another auction and they couldn't sell it over there so they brought it back so they're having they're checking it out right now so after they're done we're basically gonna go ahead and check it out but in the meantime we're gonna go see a couple other cars and i will be back to this one so I'm gonna show you guys the main cars that we're looking at today. There's gonna be a 15 Prius, 93, 15 Camry with 65. I've marked them down just so when it gets closer, I can kind of keep track of them. So this is a Prius C with 96 on it. This is a 07 ES, one of my favorites, 149. We gotta go check that out, see if it's still running good. Usually the older cars I wanna run the scanner through, but the new cars are cool. We got a 17 Yars right here with 62 on it. A couple more, uh, we got a Prius, Corolla, another ES, but you guys can see all the details right here. So let's go ahead and check out the ES real quick while we're in the area. Here's going to be another one that we're looking at today. It's the 07 ES with 149 on it. This one has the panoramic roof. Hopefully he has to open. So the seats need to go get this fix. It has the Navi, uh, black carpet, black you know, floor mats. So it's not the original ones, but uh, overall in good condition. I want to see if we can get this one today. It's from Fresno Lexus. Most of the cars I buy is either from Fresno Lexus or uh, Lexus Woodland Hills or Tustin Toyota. So I can show you guys a little bit more about the car. All right. So usually I, don't, I try not to buy cars as like from dealers lot, like small time dealers. The only cars I usually buy is like from the big dealers. And uh, the reason why is because they get a lot of trade-ins and they got a lot, they get a lot of like good cars that they don't want to sell because they rather make a lot of money or not rather make a lot of money, but they rather, they have more potential on making greater profits on a brand new car rather than a used car like this. And uh, so basically they'll just throw it in an auction and this is where the small guys like me will come in and pick them up, resell them. But look at this whole lot right here. Alright, so let's go grab the keys. We're gonna go check it out. Alright, so we're looking for 62. Can I get uh, 6272? For lot, lot 2. It doesn't matter, but what kind of car is it? Lot 2, maybe this one, the Lexus. Alrighty guys, so since there's more people checking out the car at the same time as I did, I didn't want to give them any like good news, but the car, both of them. Um, so the 07 ES, which my bad, there's like a bunch of photos right here. The 07 ES, a gold one, no lights or anything, so we're good on that. And then the 14 Prius C has a small dent on the uh, passenger rear, rear right passenger door. So we're going to take that into consideration, see how much that will cost to fix. But that one, uh, probably around like retail, probably around 665, somewhere around there. But uh, I want to go ahead and check out this Prius while if we still have any time. But I'm trying to find the guy with the keys. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can grab the keys. Seventy, seventy, not two fifty. Seventy, two fifty, two fifty, two fifty, ten fifty, two 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 fifty
if you guys have a little bit of money saved up and you guys do want to plan on flipping cars and you guys do know a little bit about cars i recommend getting into this industry if you guys don't mind like the hard work because you got to come out here every morning and then try to bid on these cars and then uh if anything happens to them you got to go home and like fix them and shit but uh for the most part i only try to stick with japanese cars because they're the most reliable but you can go ahead and buy any car american cars i think makes the most profit but i don't know how to fix them well so i'm gonna just stick to what i know best but uh but yeah let me know what you guys think about in the comments below 95 percent of all these cars are clean title uh when they sell a salvage title they have to announce it into where the auction block is uh, if it's frame damage they have to announce it so uh, basically i try to buy only green and yellow lights i do take occasionally gambles on red light cars if it's cheap enough but basically when you buy a red light car you just got to make sure everything's legit before you go ahead and bid on it but all of these cars right here they have some pretty nice cars they also have some new uh, cargo vans over there uh but yeah really nice cars this one has a dent on it. as you can see it's like a little fixer upper but Go ahead and uh, let me know what you guys think about the comments below. I'll leave my Instagram down. If you guys have any questions, just go ahead and shoot me a DM. Alrighty guys, so as you guys can already tell by my previous videos, I can't really film on the cars that I bid on, but I made an offer on a 14 IS 250. It has 137 high mileage on it, but we ended up putting an offer for 97.50. So hopefully uh, it's a good car. It's, it's sold as is, red light. So I didn't really check it out in the morning because I, I came here kind of late. But uh, overall, Lexus, they run pretty well, so I'm not really too crazy about it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the car. Here it is. It has the nice wheels on it. 14 with 137. You see the armrest right there. It needs to be uh, reupholstered. Uh, I saw the bumper was loose, so we're going to go ahead and have to fix that. Readjust it. Same with this side. You see how it's coming off a little bit. Going to have to readjust that. Um... And then there's the missing parking sensor for the back. Or hopefully it maybe just fell off the inside of the bumper. It was like right here. But we're gonna go ahead and small issues, nothing too crazy. The interior still looks nice. Here's the interior. It has like this vanilla, not vanilla, but kind of like white creamish interior. Um, like I said, armrest needs to be fixed on. Uh, steering wheel, still in pretty good condition. This one has Navi, parking sensor, blind side monitoring. Uh, let's see what else. Let's pop the trunk. Looks like it had a system before. We're gonna go ahead and take that out because we're just gonna sell the car stock. But all the tools and stuff are still here. Let's go ahead and close this bad boy up. No plates usually means they're probably expired. Um, but I'm not really too worried about that. Let's go check the oil. Make sure it's good. engine still looks in good condition let's see where the dipstick's at okay all right still has oil in it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below did i pay a little bit too much over it i think retail for this car i can probably try to get um maybe around 12s see the wheels is like half black half i think they were like plastic that before so i need to spend some time take that shit off same with the rear i don't know why they plastic dip the wheels man it makes it look so much uglier so back to what i was saying if you guys do have a little bit of money saved uh, i recommend saving about seven to eight thousand dollars just to kind of start off buy a cheap car and then just buy a cheap car around three four thousand uh just have the rest of the money uh, saved so you can have you know, like do the maintenance or do any repairs that needs to be done to it and uh let's say for example you guys buy a car for four thousand you guys can probably flip it outside for fifty five to six thousand fifty five hundred six thousand make a little bit of profit on it even if you make five hundred bucks on a car it's still a good day you know uh, but like i said this can be like your side hustle you guys can come here pick out a car whatever fits you the best whatever you can sell the easiest in your area make sure you do your research before let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments man i'm willing to help you guys out especially if you guys live close by just come with me and i'll take you inside the auction and uh we can make some we can make some business
13 miles with everybody else, 3 years ago, 3300. So, 6250. Alright, guys, so I just made an impulsive buy. Let me know what you guys think. It's a 2017 Toyota Mariah. Uh, it has 26,000 miles, or yeah. 26,000 miles yeah it's not a typo so let's go ahead and check it out i'll let you guys know the price in a bit but let's see how the car is because this is going to be a uh, i think this is like a hydrogen car so we're going to go and see if it runs good because i honestly this is the first hydrogen car i've bought but yeah let's go check it out right now so here's the 2017 mariah i was talking about oh my goodness the tags are out since february oh shit <laughs> Fuck, I didn't even look at that. So it has a red carpool sticker. It's valid into 2022. You can drive carpool by yourself with this car. It drives on hydro. Bruh. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> what the hell? No. You playing with me. This is frame. Ugh. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go try to arbitrate this car because I ain't trying to bring this car home like this. Heated rear seats, pretty cool. No, nah, I didn't see that part. That just fucked up. That just fucked up my day right there. No. Nah. fuck i'm looking at but uh we're gonna go ahead and see if we can arbitrate this thing because it has a frame but yeah we'll see we'll see what's up first it has some nice interior this is the first one i've ever seen like this so also has wireless charging which is pretty cool okay but yeah we're gonna see if we can arbitrate this thing because i ain't trying to take it home like this actually before i do that i want to see what's the market on it outside if this thing sells for a good profit, maybe we can just need to go buy this bottom panel, right? Buy a new bottom panel like this. Just install it and paint it. But it's just this part. This is my main concern. It's gonna be hard to take off. But anyways, yeah, let me see what's the market value on it outside and I'll let you guys know. All right, so I found a 20,000 miles 2017 Mariah for going around 10, eight. Um, I bought it for 6.3. I kind of want to see if I can arbitrate it because I don't want to kind of deal with that rocker panel. Uh, or not the rocker panel, but you know, the side skirts on the passenger side. But I got it for 63 after fees, it's probably be like 68. Uh, I don't know if I can sell it, but we're going to go ahead and see if we can arbitrate it. All right, guys, so we're leaving the auction right now. We're basically going to go pick up the cashier check and come back and pick up the car. Uh, I talked to them about the arbitration of the frame and they said that isn't considered frame so we're gonna go ahead to get a side skirt and repaint it and post it up. I'm gonna probably just sell it for a, a lot cheaper than what it's going for outside but we got the IS250 as well um, but yeah I'll show you guys the car when we get back. Yeah, I need to go pick up a friend or me pick up my dad and then go get the cash and then we're gonna come back and pay for it. Alrighty guys so I think I freaking screwed up on today's sale. Hopefully the Lexus drives good because I'm in at about 10-1 already. The Toyota Mariah, I looked at it in the side skirt, it was guaranteed, but that quarter panel isn't considered frame, so I couldn't return it or arbitrate it, meaning return it. So I gotta take that. I called the dealer right now, the Toyota dealer, that I couldn't find this part for the side skirts for anywhere. So but I'm gonna do some more research when I get home. But I called the basically I called the dealer and they wanted $550. But I know, right? $550, that's crazy. But then, hey, the good part is, it comes painted, so it's not too bad, but I still realistically is like, damn, dude, 550 bucks for a freaking side skirt. But hey, sometimes you gotta go through some things to get to some things, you know what I'm saying? So, shit happens, we can't really do anything about it, but just kinda fix it and sell it for cheap and move on to the next one. All right, so we're going to grab the cash, head to the bank, grab the cash check. We're going to go pick up these two cars, ready to go rock and roll. Hopefully the side skirts ain't going to cost me an arm and leg, but you guys are going to be the witness for everything. So we got our cashier's check. 
came to Norwalk, come pick it up. I got my two buddies, Bao and Fu, to come help me out, pick up the car. Thank you guys. Hey. Let's go get the car. So we're at the key van right here, Mr. Caesar. Hey, how you doing? How you doing, sir? All right, what do you have? Let's see. Right, checking out the car a little bit more. They gave me the shift knob and the SD card for the Mariah. Overall, this car is complete shit, but uh, you always got to take a leap and uh, hope for the best, man. Hey, All right, guys, driving home. To be honest, I don't know how I really feel about this car. I don't know if it's a good purchase or a bad purchase, but most likely next time I got to stick by the book and make sure I only stay with the cars I research because this one. With the quarter panel or not the side skirts, he just kind of fucked me up, dude. But anyways, I'll show you guys the car a little bit more when I get back home. So we're here at Interstate Batteries. We had to buy a new battery for the back because this one went out. And guess how much it charged me for that one? You guys wouldn't guess it. 150 bucks. I usually only pay $25 for a battery for a Honda Civic or like a Camry or whatever. This thing is 150 bucks. What the hell? Well, let's go ahead and get this shit installed. So we can move on. I'm fucking tired of this car, man. Fuck. This is what $160 look. This is what $160 later look like. Okay. All right, you guys. So a quick little update on the Mariah. Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can fix that side skirt. If not, then we're gonna have to order it from the dealer. We brought the Lexus out today to go ahead and see if we can remove the plastic dip from the wheels. All oh, my buddies went home, they're pretty tired, so I'm just gonna try to do this myself, knock it out before I go get some rest tonight. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys the wheels right now. I went to go Home Depot earlier and picked up a bottle of kerosene. So we're gonna go ahead and try to remove that plastic dip off all four wheels. And hopefully uh, it works. So you're gonna, guys, gonna be the, the witness. Here's a little before. And then I'm gonna show you guys afterwards what it will look like. All right, guys, so we just received the title for the 18 camera right here. Customer already came, left a deposit. We're about to do the paperwork for him. He is currently on his way over here. We're gonna finish off the paperwork for him so he can go ahead and buy insurance and drive it home. So basically, we got the title and let's go do some paperwork. This is the following day. It looks all right. I didn't really get all of it completely, but uh, as you guys can tell, it looks a lot better than it was yesterday. It still has a little, some marks on the, the corners and stuff. I might do it, but uh, show you guys a little bit more on the other side of it this one looks good they all look a lot better than it was yesterday so you guys remember the little parking sensor that was uh, pushed in so i went ahead and removed the rear bumper and luckily it was still behind the bumper so i just kind of re-glued it back into a spot but uh do need to go wash this area uh taking off the bumper was pretty easy probably took about like 10 minutes or so but uh now we're gonna do the armrest and post up the car for sale and here's the armrest i paid my guy 30 bucks did a pretty good job i mean it's not oem quality but at the end of the day it's still i think it will honestly last longer than the OEM, oem one but we'll see all right guys so just like that all finished ready to go ready to good to sell so we went ahead stopped by rotor works right here in garden grove pick up some new rotors and pads for the lexus we're gonna go ahead and replace that over the weekend and get the car ready for selling all right, guys, so we're about to do the smoke check for the Lexus. We're over here at my buddy Phyllis smoke check place. It's Mobile One Express off Brookhurst and Lincoln. If you guys need any smoke check, come to him. He does a pretty quick and easy job for you guys. All right, guys, quick little update. We already got a buyer for the Lexus. So we're going to go ahead and move to the registration office. Move to the registration office. We're driving to the registration office right now and to complete the paperwork so we can get them their templates. And uh, yeah, took me a while to sell this car. It took me about like two to three weeks actually like, like two weeks i just did the smoke check yesterday thank god so uh, i did make a good profit off it though so i'm not gonna complain we did end up selling it for 13.5 not bad so on to the next hopefully we'll grab another lexus because i love this car but we'll see you guys on the next one okay stay tuned 
So if you guys do plan on going to the auction with me and grabbing a car for yourself, saving two, three, four thousand dollars off the price of what it is off the private market, go ahead and shoot me a message in my Instagram. I'll leave it down below. But this is uh, one of the best cars I would say I got. Besides this, the other, the other money making cars I get would probably be uh, Toyota Priuses and stuff. But I do still have the hydrogen car, the Toyota Mirai. We're gonna go ahead and try to get rid of that one. And uh, most likely, I'm gonna try to get more Lexus like this. Uh, just I think. I think what I sum it down to is mostly just these Lexus and Prius that makes the most money. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of mess with these for a little bit and see where it takes us. So another thing I got to mention, the front end, it was unaligned. So I didn't really go ahead and fix it. I, the customer already knew, so they willing to take it as is like that. And the brakes, uh, I was going to go ahead and replace it, but they're saying it's okay. Uh, Cause I was going to add a little bit of money on top for the labor and stuff to get it replaced, but they said it was okay. So that's cool. Armrest, I went to go get that fixed. But besides that, the car drives amazing, dude. And when I say amazing, like what usually around this many miles for a car, it drives kind of like, you know, a little bit beat up, but no, this one is in really, really, immaculate condition for his age so like i said only did armrests for the interior and i uh, took to, to the car wash but it rained a couple days ago in my area so they're gonna go need to wash it again but besides that it's an amazing car and on to the next one so i'm trying to get as much as i can so i can get some more sports cars so i can show you guys because obviously you guys don't want to watch these boring cars all the time right but this is the money maker for me right now so i'm gonna go ahead and just stay with this for now and then later on when it's uh when it gets booming then i'll go ahead and get some more race cars and stuff to show you guys all right guys so we just sold the toyota Mirai, all ready to go we did the paperwork i showed them how to refill it and basically we're on to the next finally took me a while but i did make some profit off the car i'll run it through with you guys later when i get home but yeah if you guys are enjoyed the last view of it all right guys so quick a little recap to end the video so i want to break it down to you guys this is a 14 lexus right here i bought it for 97 buy fee was 400 this is for the armrest right here so total i'm in at 10 180 i sold it for 13.5 so i made 3320 dollars pretty good profit right there so far 2017 Mirai bought it by fee this is for the new battery i had to buy nothing else in the car basically brand spanking new how much i put into it how much i sold it how much i got for it and then the total amount for everything is right there and um that's within three to four weeks so if you guys enjoy the video so far do me a huge favor click that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video peace